In August this year, three decades after Nivea's global launch, the Australian Nivea Men range launched its own Facebook page. The move indicated a strong commitment to the future of the men's grooming industry and was coincided by the release of a fresh campaign for Nivea Men Originals. Men's face care. You think it's the same as women's face care. Complicated, time consuming, and sometimes even painful. Unlearn everything about men's face care and choose the one that instantly soothes and protects your skin. New Nivea Men Originals Protective Moisturizer with SPF 15 works effectively for great looking skin that makes you feel good. New Nivea Men Originals Protective Moisturizer. Nivea Men. It begins with you. The men's grooming category has experienced a recent boom, exceeding $520 million value in 2012. Nivea Men Originals is a mid-priced product line that caters for both the shaving and skincare sectors. The category is highly competitive and largely dominated by long-standing brands such as Gillette. However, Nivea Men has obtained strong brand equity in the toiletry sector which, as compared to the shaving sector, is less monopolised. The success of the men's grooming category can be attributed to the rise of the metrosexual male worldwide. Metrosexuals are typically between 18 and 50 years old and described as straight urban men who enjoy such things as shopping and using beauty products. A number of key social factors are responsible for the cultural shift that normalised men's grooming. In fact, a recent Australian survey revealed that over two-thirds of men used skin products such as moisturisers, cleansers and toners, and a fifth did so regularly. Yet this same research found that 77% of males would not use the term metrosexual to describe themselves. The typical Aussie male is reluctant to accept the metrosexual label despite emulating many of the same characteristics and behaviours. Men want to look good, but don't want to feel girly. From this, Nivea Men's key consumer insight emerged, the Aussie Machosexual Metrosexual. A foot, cone and belding grid categorises products according to the level of consumer involvement and whether emotions or thoughts dominate the purchase decision process. By this analysis, cosmetics fall within the effective quadrant. However, as a men's cosmetic line, there is likely to be at least some level of rational thought in the decision-making process. The elaboration likelihood model purports that consumers take either the central or peripheral route to persuasion. Generally, a male consumer's ability and willingness to comprehend messages about a cosmetic product are low, and as such, the Originals campaign relies on many peripheral cues to persuade the target market. As with any cosmetics product, there are significant ethical and legal considerations. The primary objective of Nivea Men Originals' broader campaign is to realise greater preference among consumers in the men's grooming category overall. The advertising strategy to achieve this is twofold. First, to gain and maintain product users and second, to capitalise on brand equity strength in the toiletry sector, thus transferring positive consumer perceptions to the shaving sectors and leveraging brand preference overall. The hierarchy of effects model describes the different stages of consumer response leading to product use. Each stage can be used as a benchmark against which to measure the campaign's success in gaining and maintaining consumers. Liking and preference are also somewhat indicative of brand equity strength. The market segmentation was based on consumers' psychographic features and in contrast to competing product target markets, was not segmented by age. This allows for greater coverage and feeds into the campaign's big idea, quality simplicity for the Aussie male. The product line is positioned on a number of levels but the two most salient are by attributes and implicitly by quality. This establishes a unique position in the consumer's mind where, relative to the competition, Nivea Man Originals is simple yet effective. 
The campaign theme revolves around no frills, fuss-free skincare that makes you look good. This theme is reflected in the message strategy statement. As a high involvement product, the ad was able to hold the consumer's attention whilst it built up to the most important message, that Nivea Men Originals will make you feel good and look great. In the oversaturated cosmetics industry, a unique selling position based on distinct physical characteristics of the product is near impossible to achieve. Instead, Nivea Men used a preemptive message strategy based on the big idea, which was also the basis of claims made throughout the campaign. The campaign ad opens with a humorous appeal and progresses to an emotional appeal. However, as the product's placement in the FCB grid would suggest, more than purely emotional arousal is required to create attitude change amongst the target market. And so rational messages also underpin the campaign, espousing the product line's simplicity and effectiveness. The executional techniques demonstrate consistency with the message strategies and appeals, utilising a combination of humour and imagery. A semiotics perspective also reveals many symbolic meanings in the campaign imagery, especially in denoting quality. Overall, the creative approach is very effective. However, it could place greater emphasis on the quality, simplicity, big idea, Nivea Man Original's only point of differentiation. This campaign aligns with a much greater online presence for Nivea Men and as a result, much of the campaign employs online media channels. This channel strategy is very effective for reaching Gen Y, who constitute the majority of the target market. To capture men outside of the Gen Y bracket, Nivea Men Originals is also advertised in men's magazines, including an annual collaboration with Men's Health magazine for the annual Men's Fresh Face Awards. Considering that Nivea Men likely had a large budget allowance, use of mass media channels, television and out-of-home advertising would have created greater brand awareness. A third channel focusing on consumer engagement could have been a free Nivea Men app that contained advice from the grooming guide section of the Nivea Men website in order to enhance preference of the brand in the men's grooming category overall.